It looks like uh, apple shit there. Might be some old apples left over. It's in the spring. Uh, trapping season is closed for raccoons here. We wouldn't catch them now anyways. But this is a setback off the river. And uh, you would say to yourself, this is a great spot to set a raccoon trap. But I have never set a raccoon trap, even though there's raccoons here, and I know there is. You would have to uh, keep it away from the waterfowl hunters. And I've never had a problem. I got friends that hunt ducks and geese down here. Most of them use a dog. Most of them have a beautiful golden retriever. And I don't want to catch a dog. No way. I'll set some kind of bears in the water, underwater. But uh, no footholds here. No uh, leg hold beaver traps. Uh, footholds. They prefer to be called now. Uh, because I don't want to catch somebody's Chesapeake Bay or Black Lab down here hunting ducks. So we won't do that. We just will not do that. We won't take a chance. I get along with everybody. You know how many incidences I've had down here in 47 years of trapping with the waterfowl hunters? Zero. None. Use common sense on these. Don't set them where they hunt. They set up here. They shoot the wood ducks and stuff that come over. It's an easy spot. It's state land. But, uh, hey... Don't take a chance. There's a pair of geese way over there. I don't know if we can see. Oh, hey, you guys nervous or what? I could be a hunter, but I'm not. They don't care. Uh, but don't take a chance. Use common sense when you're trapping. That's the way, you, you know, you don't need enemies. There's enough enemies out there. We don't need to make them between ourselves. Uh, common sense. Don't set a foothold where you're going to catch a golden retriever or a lab or any kind of bird dog. We don't want to hear them. Yep. Hey, check this out. Half dead tree. It might. Yeah, it's hollow in spots, I think. It might possibly be a coon den tree, but come over here, Amanda. Coon shit, coon shit, all up this dead tree. Coon shit over here. Um, stop cleaning the coon shit, Dave. He uh, He's eating meat and stuff. When they're eating corn and grapes, you can tell by the color. But this may be his den tree. If not, he's checking it out a lot. He's hanging out here a lot, this coon. Or it might be a, f a family of coon. Stop. But that looks like apples there. But uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna. Here. No, go put it in the box. <laughs> nice. Hey Amanda, look at how high up this. This must be the biggest beaver in the woods. It's a giant. Look at how high up he's chewing. Isn't that amazing? What do you think? Hmm. Huh? That's a woodpecker. Never mind. Hey, the water's come up this winter. This was all mud in the fall when we started. We got a video or two of me with a little beaver out here. You can, this was all mud with just this little channel out here in the middle open. Now, since then, it's been raining half the winter. So, I guess you would call this more normal. But uh, this, this is how much it's come up. And these muskrat runs were... I don't know, six, eight feet from the water this winter. So, it's come up normal, and the muskrats are moving because it's spring. They're trying to breed, getting these great big adult muskrats. I mean, that's a good rat. That's a good muskrat. So, I'm back out. Muskrats aren't worth much, but neither am I. So, trying to get a few beavers, doing something in the spring is kind of nice. I mean, look at the size of that big muskrat, Amanda. He's nice. You gotta get these muskrats right off the bat because they start fighting and biting. But uh, I know where most of these dens are. And you can see air bubbles sometimes or just uh, feed floating in them or check with your foot because the water's high. You're not gonna just notice it. You can't see the run now because the, mud the water's muddy. I'm so old. I've been doing it so long. I can barely set a trap anymore, but I still can. And I, you know, it's very familiar to me. So look at this muskrat here, man. I don't know what's going on, but you got to get these muskrats. He's been, uh, he's got a little chew damage going on there. So either a mink got a hold of him or muskrats, but the muskrats fight. The males fight with each other all the time in the spring. You gotta get them before they're all bit up. So, there's a, there's the one that lost the fight, Junior, and here's Leroy, who won the fight, Big Daddy, yeah, but they kinda of both lost. They're, they're both going on a stretcher, so. We got, uh, it's a nice time of the year to be out in the spring like this. 
So we're gonna we're gonna do a little spring trapping, which is always fun. But look how the water's come up in, since last fall. We're gonna get some waterfowl on here too. So Hudson River fun. Stay tuned. <laughs> 